Okay, so the first one for the upper body is going to be your dumbbell shoulder press. So you want to be in the upright bench, basically getting your reps with your dumbbell. And then from dumbbell, we're going to transition right into your band. Uh, same exact exercise, so it'll be your seated band shoulder press. So you want to basically pick a band with good enough intensity. You want a nice rep count, and you got 20, three sets of 20 on this one. All right, and following that, we're going to transition to your two-way two-way dumbbell lateral shoulder raise. So the first one is going to the front, then we're going lateral out to the sides. So front transition out to the side. And from your lateral raise, we're gonna go into your prone. Your prone, which will be AC on the bench with a slight incline, and then you're gonna go to your reverse fly. Yeah, it's the same, it's pretty much, you know, the same. The other one's harder. And then base the next exercise coming off of here will basically be into your Arnold Dumbbell Military Press. So once again, you got your Arnold Dumbbell Military Press. Mm -hmm. So you want the, your palms, palms facing forward on the front, and then you're going to rotate towards the top. And at the top of your rotation, dumbbells will be facing, excuse me, palms will be facing away. Okay, so in this exercise, we had a barbell shoulder high pulls. So basically, you want to pull it up, you know, right above chest level on that. Yep, close grip on your on your bar. Okay, so now we transition to the barbell bent over row. So basically, we'll keep your hands in the same spot, and you're gonna pull it right to your sternum, right underneath the chest. Get a good squeeze at the top, bringing your shoulder blades together. Okay, this next one is a standing upright row using the band. So basically you want to get a good distance away from your band so you have the resistance. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Good lock, reach and pull. Feet shoulder width apart. With a good stretch, you hook your band on basically anything that's going to be stable. Alright, the next one are your seven, um, your 21s, your curl ball. So the first set, you only want to take the bar halfway down. So basically, and then the second half will be the bottom part. So you want to go from your thighs up halfway. And then following that seven, you want to do a full, full rep rotation. Uh, the full distance thigh all the way to the top. And now to create your 21s. Follow your 21s, you want to grab your dumbbells. And now you're going right into uh, dumbbell curls with the rotation. So you want to turn those wrists as you come up towards the top. Your palms will be facing your thighs on the bottom and rotate it fully pointed towards you at the top. All right, this next exercise, your cable tricep overhead, excuse me, cable overhead tricep extension. So you want to keep your elbows nice and tight and basically flex right between your head and fully extend coming over your head. And the next one is your cable tricep extension using the rope. So you want to keep your elbows tight towards your body, fully extend at the bottom.